My name is Samantha Winship Monk. I am the owner and operator of Mother's Finest Family Farm in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. I am a beekeeper, a farmer. I love being outside. I love being connected to nature, and it's a huge part of my life. It's like doing the morning rounds every day, just kind of assessing what, what they need. We'll get you some. Yeah. We homeschool here on a farm as well, so we do use our backyard as a classroom. And tomatoes. Mm -hmm. Great, thank you. And I really feel like it's a place of healing for me and my family. So everybody's good now? I think so. Oh, okay. Yeah, Anybody a blind man can see, you know, we're black farmers. Love you, and I really like to showcase the pride of being outside in that land. You good? Thank you. Okay, let's do it. And people can really have a sense of, hey, if that woman can do it, I can do it too. So we're just gonna get them kind of calmed down and we're gonna get to work here. Working with the bees is definitely my happy place. I just like how they all work together. So this is what we would call it, hive check. And I wish that, you know, more people could think like bees when they're maneuvering through life. See nectar. Bees tell us so much about weather and climate. With a day like this, of course, they're, they're super active. Like when the seasons are changing, but you know, throughout the years that I've been farming, I'm starting to see that kind of change. I mean, with it being like 88, it really tricks them into thinking that it's spring or summer again. This year is either been too much rain or too little rain. It tricks the relationship between plants and bees. We're in November now, and you know, last week it reached 88 degrees. We didn't even get ones this big in summer. Nope. I've seen some brand new tomato plants coming up with flowers on them. These are not greenhouse tomatoes. I see sunflowers trying to bloom. Crazy. That feeling of being in tune with nature is leaving. We're still getting peppers, it's, it's odd. And it's kind of coming a place where we can't really predict what's next. It's switching over into a whole nother season. There's a tomato right there. It's really weird. It's, it's completely different. So it's hard to tell what to really do with a beekeeping season. We had a late spring. The uh, bees didn't want to even come out. We need those bees to pollinate the plants, but if it's not warm enough, they can't even come out. And these type of things are factors in how we get our food. The habits of the bees have changed. The habits of our plants have changed. The future, I mean, really depends on on bees and with no pollinators then you know we we don't have food being more educated on all of it and doing little things to help our environment is so key so i really hope that people will get more engaged with the environment teaching our children about things that matter and topics that matter what role do we have in trying to protect the bees and also native bees and plants and i guess for me my motivation in this is, is really trying to get back to that empowering the people and getting people involved and on wanting to stand up for something that's so important. I think the future definitely relies on more small farms and families. I always say planting the seed is a revolutionary act and I truly 100% believe it's the little things that are gonna make the biggest changes in the future. I guess you should still be thankful for the harvest. Very thankful.